Welcome to hell. Today we're in Beppu, the land of the onsen. Beppu is home to over 2,300 onsens, and today we are exploring the seven hells of Beppu, the most famous of all the Beppu onsens. The hells, or Jigoku of Beppu, are seven spectacular hot springs for viewing rather than bathing. The area where the Jigoku lie was described centuries ago as a cursed land of gas explosions, bubbling mud and steaming waters. These places were referred to as Jigoku, the Japanese word for hell. The seven hells of Beppu are seven unique hot springs that have very distinguishing features. The one behind me, the Chinoike Jigoku, is famous for its blood red colour. Now this blood red colour comes from the high content of iron oxide and magnesium oxide. Chinoike Jigoku literally translates to pond of blood. It's pretty spooky if you ask me. Ooh. For centuries the locals of Beppu have been using the onsen water of this specific hell for medical purposes to help with things such as skin conditions. The temperature of the water in this hell is about 78 degrees and apparently the depth is about 92 feet which is actually way deeper than it looks, like it looks really shallow. So that's surprising, you don't want to fall in basically. You definitely do not want to fall <laughs> in. Apart from burning you'll sort of drown in the mud. This is Tatsumaki Jigoku. It's one of the seven hells in Beppu. This one is actually a geezer, which means it sporadically does that. <laughs> Apparently, this is one of the best geezers in the world to see because it. Um, does this quite frequently, every 40 minutes or so. And apparently um, when they were building the roof, they didn't know when it was gonna do it, so they built it quite short, otherwise it would be dangerous. But if the roof wasn't there, it would go up 20 to 30 meters. This specific geezer lasts for about six to 10 minutes each time, so it's quite a long amount of time for you to get some pics and things like that. Who do you reckon the bigger geezer is? Geezer number one, or geezer number two? The Tatsumaki Jigoku is in a little subgroup of the Hells of Beppu with the Chinoike Jigoku, the red one. And it's a bit of a, a little bit of a walk, about 10, 15 minute walk to the other five Hells. This Hell, the Tatsumaki Jigoku, is actually the hottest of all the seven Hells of Beppu. The water coming out of there is about 105 degrees, so it's literally over boiling which is why there's so much steam coming out of it. It's pretty hellish. You could say I'm in hell right now. <laughs> this is the Umi Chikoku. Named as such because it looks like the sea with its brilliant blue colour. This one has so much steam coming out of it, and the steam is really hot as well, so it feels like we're in hell. <laughs> now, at Umi Jigoku, you can actually eat eggs that have been boiled in the hot spring water. This one right here, this is an egg that's been cooked in that. And also, I got myself a pudding that has been cooked in the on some water as well. The pudding just tastes like like normal pudding. Oh, yeah. but it's meant to be enriched with the vitamins and minerals of the of the onsen. I wonder if this egg tastes how this whole place smells, which is really eggy. Okay, bon chance. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's really nice. It's so creamy. Good thing I bought five. Oi! 
it's hot. Ah! At many of the hills, there are these foot baths, like foot onsen, so you can uh, take your shoes off and relax your feet in nice hot water. Don't look at my feet. <laughs> Ashi Yu, or foot onsen, are very popular in onsen towns, and they're almost always free, so you can just use them for free. We actually tried to see some in uh, Zhao Onsen, but if you've watched the video, you'll know that they drained them at night there, so we couldn't see them. But we get to do it here. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> I literally just burnt my leg, like standing right in front of the, um, the sauce. So like 100 degrees water on my shins. Reckon oh, the family really, mart, look, oh, really it's so bad. red, it's like oh, yeah. here. This is the Onishi Bozu Jikoku, which translates to Onishi Bald Monk Hell. It's called that because the sort of muddy bubbles that you see popping up out of the, out of the pool, they look like a bald monk head, apparently. hell used to be one massive giant pool that like bubbles up with the mud but the owner decided that it would be easier to see if it was split up into four small pools so now there's walkways all around it um, that have been built on top so if you actually touch the floor here it's quite warm because it's built over the hot spring that's quite warm Ring the bell just once, please. Ring it more than one time, you may put the devil in a bad mood. Shit. Oh, you, you put him in a bad mood. Yes. This is the Kamado Jikoku, or Kamado Hell. And it's called that because yeah, residents of Beku used to cook food here, used to steam it with the, the hot spring water and offer the food to the Kamado Shrine, which is around the corner. Now, the Kamado Jikoku has loads of things to look at. The main thing is obviously this big, nice blue pond, similar to the Umi Jikoku, or Umi Hell. But here we also have lots of um, hand hot spring things, foot hot spring things, mud hot springs and behind us is another one of the red fire blood ponds. <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> Please slowly sucking from the nose. <laughs> in Japan, onsen bathing is super popular, but less popular is drinking onsen water or insen. It's actually more um, famous to do this in European areas, but it's having a bit of a revival at the moment, especially in Oita and Beppu. People say it has um, health benefits to drink a small amount of onsen water every day. Well, I'm going to have to try some as well now. It's steaming so much. Ow! It doesn't smell very nice. Oh! Oh, that's horrid! That's exactly what I said. Oh, no. It's hot. It tastes really earthy and nasty, and it's also 80 degrees, so it's burnt my mouth. Brilliant. It's made me angry. This is bedrock bathing. Basically, the steam is coming from underneath and um, we put our feet on the platform. It's heating these stones underneath the carpet and the stones are really hot and it's a really nice, really nice relaxing feeling on your feet, actually. It feels like um, heated floors. Like heated floors, heated yeah. Floors, exactly. yeah.
This is the Oniyama Hell or Demon Mountain Hell. And this is meant to be one of the most surprising hells because it's actually home to over 80 crocodiles. They raise crocodiles here on the onsen water mixed with um, fresh water. But having looked around, it's very sad and there's too many crocodiles, not enough space. And it's just quite sad, so I think we're just going to move on from this one quickly. <laughs> that one enclosure, the big one, has like so many crocodiles like piled on each other. Like... This is the Shiraike Jikoku. Now this one is famous for having a nice sort of blue whitish colour that changes due to the atmospheric pressure of the weather. The temperature of this one is 95 degrees and it's actually in the shape of a heart which you can see from this observatory platform that we're standing at now. Can you see it? I can. I can see it. It's sort of like... Perfect uh, for Valentine's Day. Perfect for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching, that's the end of the video. If you are interested in checking out the Hells of Beppu for yourself, we'll put some useful info down in the description with some links to some websites that you can go check out. I highly, highly recommend you visit the Hells of Beppu. It is honestly one of the best things we've seen in Japan. It's amazing. As always, please leave a comment, leave a like if you've enjoyed the video, and if you want to stay up to date with our future content, please consider subscribing. It helps us out tremendously. Thank you all very much. Goodbye.